In 2020, consumers spent 18% more through e-commerce than brick and mortar. In order to keep up with consumer demand and expedient delivery, the last mile delivery sector, UPS, FedEx, and Amazon, must be equipped with manpower and cost-efficient vehicles. However, this surge in growth also expends energy and leaves a carbon footprint. To combat this side effect, electric vehicle technology has entered the sector. The growth in online buying and home delivery has been rapid over the past decade, and it's grown exponentially in the past year and a half when we got hit by the COVID pandemic. We're seeing more deliveries to homes, more trucks on the road, which is causing more congestion on the roads, more pollution, and companies are looking for innovative ways to get those packages from the warehouses or the stores to individuals' homes. Electric power vehicles and drones are bringing lots of efficiencies to the last mile delivery market. First and foremost, electric vehicles leave no environmental footprint, and they also are lower cost to maintain than current internal combustion engine vehicles. From a drone standpoint, you are seeing almost a 50% improvement in cost to deliver packages, especially small packages to rural areas across the country. Electric vehicles and drones are extremely beneficial for the economy. It comes down to a cost-efficient way to do business, so we're looking at better fuel economy, we're looking at lower maintenance costs, and this is on top of reducing our carbon footprint. And so when something goes wrong with these vehicles, I can log in, I can evaluate what happens. I can have that part overnighted. I can get that vehicle back on the road, generating revenue right away. It's all in all very much beneficial for the society and our economy. According to the EPA, transportation accounts for 28% of global energy-related greenhouse gas emissions. The inclusion of EVs in transportation is subduing climate change through advancements for EV capabilities in range, battery life, and performance monitoring applications. E-commerce obviously is becoming more and more ingrained in our lives. If we just keep building what we're doing, we're going to increase the pollution by 32%. So one electric vehicle can displace up to 69,000 pounds of greenhouse gases, comparable from an EV vehicle to a conventional internal combustion engine vehicle. The percentage of EV vehicles in the fleets today is really hard to track. It's definitely less than 5%. There are very aggressive goals from a lot of fleets to become carbon neutral, to introduce EV vehicles into their fleet. In the state of California, all new vehicles purchased by 2035 will have to be electric. Workhorse is a Cincinnati-based all-electric vehicle manufacturer specializing in trucks and drones. Their vehicles feature cloud-based onboard telematics that optimize routes and track fuel efficiency. The Workhorse vision is to create a sustainable and cost-effective product that will lead a revolution and create a new kind of power. Here in the United States, the state of California is taking the leadership position in establishing new emission standards for commercial vehicles. The California Air Resources Board has set strict targets starting in 2025 and targeting emission-free vehicles in 2050. While California leads and 17 other states are following, here in the United States we're behind what other countries are doing, specifically China and across the European Union. So together we need to move fast in this country to get to a carbon neutral or emission-free type vehicles and that's what we're doing here at Workhorse. The shift to electrification in the automotive and trucking industry is a generational change. This industry for over 100 plus years has been driven by diesel and gas engines. And those days are coming to an end in the next few decades. Here at Workhorse, we're excited to be one of the leaders or pioneers on the commercial vehicle side of the equation here. We're committed, our team, our engineers, our factory, our supply chain to make sure we have the best, safest electric vehicles out in the marketplace for last mile delivery. Workhorse has been developing their systems and vehicles for over 10 years and plans to equip the last mile delivery sector with fleets that have state-of-the-art technology, zero emission vans and drones. As communities embrace the notion of package delivery more and more and more and drones come into play, you think about three things. You think about whether they're going to be safe, whether they'll be reliable, and whether they will be obtrusive. So we spend a lot of time focused on making sure our aircraft is absolutely safe, very reliable, and quiet. Safety is paramount to everybody. So we are taking our aircraft through FAA-type certification. It's the same standard that the FAA uses 
to certify almost every aircraft that flies. We want to make sure that we hit the highest bar of safety and reliability. FAA type certification is a key to that. If you think about the best package delivery experience you could have from a carbon point of view, it's the notion that you're moving the weight required with the least amount of energy expended. So instead of a 9,000 pound truck delivering a 10 pound box to your house, we'll take a 22 pound all electric aircraft and deliver a 10 pound box to your house so that a driver can come to an intersection, have one delivery to make a mile to the left, five deliveries to make to the right, launch the drone to fly the mile, go do the deliveries in the neighborhood, and the drone will come back and meet him before he's done. So you lower cost, you reduce the amount of time that you spend on the road, you make everything uh, much more efficient from a ground vehicle point of view, and you improve everybody's experience in the delivery process. As long as we can operate safely and reliably to an FAA standard, this product will find its way. To learn more, Contact us today.